Michael Burry, who's famously known for shorting the markets during the 08 crash, has been aggressively buying Chinese stocks since the fourth quarter of 2022, and it seems to be finally paying off. According to 13F filings, Burry's Scon Asset Management, which manages about $200 million, has about half of its portfolio invested in Chinese tech giants. Alibaba is his largest position at 21% of the portfolio, and he was still buying the stock as recently as the second quarter, boosting his stake by 24%. Burry also has 12% of his portfolio invested in Beidou and another 12% of his portfolio invested in JD.com. Altogether, Burry had about 46% of his portfolio invested in these three Chinese stocks as of June 30th. All three stocks have surged this week after China released new measures to boost its economy. As we all probably know, China's economy has been falling apart in the past few years, but as of this week, that might be changing. The Chinese government as of last week decided to basically flip the perspective and in a massive attempt to flip the economy, they've decided to basically inject some liquidity into the market. This includes injecting about $141 billion into the financial system by lowering the amount of money banks need to hold in reserve. China is also cutting mortgage rates for existing home loans and reducing down payments requirements, which will help make housing more affordable for you know many families. Additionally, the government is introducing new tools to support the stock market and help companies access funding. These efforts aim to stabilize the economy and ensure China meets its 5% growth targets for 2024. From all this, we saw the SSE 50 index, which is the top 50 public companies in China bounce on the news. Over the past five days, it's up just under 17%. Alibaba also bounced 20%. JD.com bounced 35%. And Tencent went up 11%. This new announcement is not only going to affect China's economy, but it's likely going to have a ripple effect through various different markets. And that's because China is such a large economy. It has a huge effect on what happens with things from commodity prices, which directly affects every country, but it also affects the performance of US-based public businesses. And that's because Chinese consumers represent a massive chunk of the global consumption. For example, Tesla derives around 20 to 25% of its revenue from China, largely thanks to its Shanghai Gigafactory and the rising demand for electric vehicles. Also, Apple earns approximately 15 to 20 of its revenue from China. Starbucks generates about 8 to 10 percent of its revenue from China as the company you know continues to expand in the region while Nike also sees around 15 percent of its global revenue come from Chinese consumers. Caterpillar the heavy you know machinery manufacturer typically sees around 5 to 10 percent of its revenue from China. In addition to these companies, we also see Qualcomm drives up to 60% of its revenue from China driven by its strong position in the smartphone chip market. And General Motors earns around 40% of its global sales there, making China its largest market. Intel also sees approximately 25-30% to of its revenue from China due to the country's high demand for semiconductors. These examples highlight how deeply intertwined many US companies are with the Chinese economy, with the region playing a critical role in their global operations. Looking back at Michael Burry's portfolio from this, according to data from Hedge Follow, which tracks and complies data from 13F filings, the recent gains in China's stock market should mean Burry 2 is seeing some sizable gains in his portfolio, with Alibaba leading the change. Hedge Follow estimates that Burry has an average cost per share of 78.83 cents for his Alibaba stake. Shares of Alibaba hit $105 on Thursday afternoon, representing an estimated gain of 34%. Keep in mind, this assumes that Burry has not sold any of his shares since Scon's last 13F filing, which offers data as of June 30th. Whether these efforts will create a long-term positive effect for China's economy and whether or not China stocks will continue to go up is hard to say, but regardless, it's an interesting situation and only time will actually tell how this will all play out. That's it for today. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you later.